let's talk about the Big Ten. And Gary Barta, the athletic director at the University of Iowa, let it be known to a reporter from The Athletic, and the name escapes me at the moment, but he told him, basically, that the Big Ten is looking into eliminating divisions and moving from nine conference games down to eight so that they can create more interesting non-conference matchups. And a lot of people believe that this has to do with the alliance that was made between the ACC, the Pac-12, and the Big Ten. Now, this would all go into effect after the 2022 season. That's when the media rights deals end. I think that this is exactly what the SEC is going to do as well, regardless of the um, dropping from nine conference games to eight. The SEC is already at eight, and they have shown you can be successful doing that. With eliminating divisions in the Big Ten, I think that's a big, big thing. If you look at the recruiting rankings, on early signing day, for the majority of the day, until the very end, Iowa ended up jumping up and and becoming one of the top seven recruiting classes in the Big Ten this year. But it is the Big Ten East by a wide margin over the Big Ten West. The Big Ten West has not won a conference title since 2020. 12, 2013, somewhere around there. It, I mean, it, it's been a while. Yes, a long, long time. And obviously that has a lot to do with the fact that Ohio State is on that side. But also Michigan State, Michigan, Penn State. I mean, you have the powerhouses, Sands, Wisconsin, sitting on the opposite side. If you get rid of divisions and you just do this thing round-robin pod style-ish, now obviously you can't do round-robin with 14 teams, but... I think it's a a genius idea. You can create better schedules going forward. And and not that anybody really wants to see Ohio State play against Duke or Michigan play against uh, Boston College, but you will have some more interesting non-conference matchups. And I think it's easier to get through the conference slate for some of these teams that may not be awesome. They may not be great, but you could have that one really, really good year where you don't have to play somebody else that's a powerhouse in the Big Ten. Uh, Do you agree with this being a good move? Yeah, I think it's a good move. I think it's really funny that the Big Ten is one of the most critical of the SEC over the last several years of we play nine conference games and you (laughs) only play eight. And now they're like, we would like to go down to eight. And and it has nothing to do with other than we want more home games. Um, I believe that. You can say it's for the alliance, but I'm I'm going to bet that that extra game falls more in playing, you know, at home than not. Especially for their big teams that have big-time home field advantages. This is a situation where they will send the the Rutgers and the Maryland's and the Northwesterns to the Pac-12 for them to get an extra home game, and then they will take an extra home game for the Ohio States and the Michigans and the Michigan States. I believe that that's probably going to happen because I don't trust any of the people that run any of these conferences. They're all corrupt, (laughs) and they all feed the brands that need to be fed. And who do they feed them? They feed them the brands regardless of how good those brands are at the actual game they're playing. They don't matter to the conference. And so they feed them to those that do. That totally, totally makes sense. Uh, how do you feel about this maybe affecting their uh, TV rights deal that's coming up? Do you think it affects it at all? Because I, I don't know uh, that it does. Well, no, it, it absolutely will if they can if they can somehow put into writing that we're not um, replacing these games with uh, also rands or uh, you know pay for wins, and they definitely do replace them with power five teams. Then, then I 100% think that that's going to get them more money. I yeah, 100% it's, think it's going to get more. Money. It, it makes sense that way. You've still got the same number of home games against Power Five teams that would be good for inventory, right? But you got to think as a television network, not just they're replacing them with Power Five teams, they're replacing them with what they're assuming are going to be much better football games. Agreed. Agreed. Now, I don't know that they will be significantly better than what the Big Ten would have offered with that ninth conference game. But oh, I do overall. I absolutely do overall because I still think you're going to get your Ohio States, Michigan's and Penn States and your and, and your your big brands to play one another because they're they're rivals. You're, you're just going to not get Ohio State Rucker every year. Oh, and, no, I certainly right, agree. And right now you are. And therefore, if I can rotate them off 
and rotate in an Ohio State USC, but that's going to get a monster number. And yeah. you as the TV network know that that's going to happen. And let's forget USC. Let's take a smaller brand, but but still comparable, UCLA. Like in football, oh, UCLA certainly. is not close to the brand USC is, especially television-wise. That's still going to do a monster number compared to a Ohio State, uh, Maryland. It's just That's true. That is incredibly true. Uh, you put Ohio State or Michigan or Penn State or whatever against a, like we said, the the smaller ones, put them against NC State in the ACC, some something along those lines. Yeah. And it's going to do numbers. People would Sorry. like to see the matchup that you don't normally get. Uh, Ohio yeah. State, Oregon this year was a massive, massive draw, right? And you can say this is about the alliance, but ooh, please do not forget the fact that I guarantee you more Big Ten teams are going to want to play SEC teams. Oh, yeah, that's still going to happen. Because those are big, big numbers. Oh, yes. Big numbers. And outside of our top-heavy, ultra, you know, top-tier teams, those Big Ten teams can hang with everybody else in the conference. Oh, yeah. So, you know, a a Wisconsin-Auburn game would be awesome. You know, like it's not like Tennessee and Purdue wasn't one of the best bowl games that we got all year. This is true. So this is so 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 don't don't think that they're just going to we're just going to all leave the SEC out. No, no, no. You want those eyeballs too. you also want to recruit down here in the south. Like You want your teams doing home and homes. You want to come into the state of Tennessee and into the state of Mississippi and into the state of Louisiana and Georgia and Alabama and try to get kids to, to to fall in love with Big Ten football. Now, that totally, totally makes sense. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.